Live from the studios of Coefficient Media in downtown Jackson, Michigan, today's show is brought to you by GoToMeeting with HD Faces. All right, this is the Android App Show, episode number 89. Uh, this week we're going to talk about uh, running Android apps on top of your Windows PC and a cool new deal that's oh, yeah. coming out about that and protecting your phone from your kids. Protection. Welcome to the Android App Show. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement Oil in telephone service water has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? All right, folks. Episode Welcome. 89. 89. In in the, you know, freshly clean air studio. Yeah, this is nice. This <laughs> There's is been nice. a lot of construction going on around here. <laughs> yeah, we've got some TVs in the background here. We've we got some nice chairs now. How do you like these chairs? You haven't been able to... You haven't been here since, <laughs> have you? You haven't um, been on a show since we got these new chairs, have you? Yeah, these are pretty slick. Yeah. i got to say, you can't beat them. Yeah, they're nice. And uh, they're comfortable. They make my butt feel better. Yeah, you'll see me show. falling asleep probably about halfway through the episode. Yeah, don't wake me up. Mm. Lane, do the review. He doesn't know about the, the button that I have. <laughs> <laughs> the shock button. <laughs> wake up! You got the uh, built-in dog collar right in the seat. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little weird. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got some news to talk about, about uh, Android and Google and many different things. But first, yeah, before we, we get to that... This week. We have a sponsor. Clap your hands, folks. Yep. Sponsors. So yeah, um, go to meeting is a sponsor for today's show. Uh, they've sponsored our show for a while, which is great, and they've got a great product. So go to meeting uh, now with HD faces, so you can conduct meetings even when you're on the go. You can you can do it right from your mobile device, your iPad, anything that you have uh, from your laptop. You can just do a business meeting in like real time even see the interactions be distracted by people drinking water all sorts of stuff like that <laughs> that's uh, those are our producers do you guys do you guys ever jake you've been doing a lot of meetings online uh but you've been doing it like the 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 hacked together way yeah, what have you been doing i do i use google plus but it Ooh. sucks yeah google plus hangouts you know you'll be talking with people and they'll all of a sudden they'll freeze and then they like grudge, and they're like, <laughs> and they freak out, and like their ro- their voices start turning to robots, and people are all like, "Hey, there's no bandwidth available for us to use because it's a free Oops. application. Why don't we add crowns, top hat, monocle, you know, yeah. motion tracked animations too?" <laughs> so that you know, what kind of people do you hang out with? <sighs> That's a whole nother a bunch, question. A bunch of creative people. <laughs> I see. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're really looking for something that is business level that you can actually conduct meetings, that's what this this studio place is all about, doing proper business meetings. GoToMeeting is a great fit, and uh, now with HD faces, you can actually see the conversation. So go to GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PODCAST. Right, Lane? That's right, GoToMeeting.com. Click try it now, and then enter the code podcast. I like, th- I like that uh, that code. Yeah, it's, it's a, a simple code. one. <laughs> simple. Um, know what I like even better? News. news stories about Google. I am obsessed about Android news. You can you can ask my <laughs> wife. That's all, like what I do in my in my free time. I always in my free couple minutes. I'm like, <laughs> did you yeah. know? Did yeah. you know? Oh yeah, that comes up way too much in my house. My wife's like, I don't care. <laughs> like I know more than most people should know. <laughs> um, okay. Well, there's been an ongoing case between Google and Oracle where mm-hmm. Oracle's been suing Google saying, Hey, uh, you took a bunch of Java code or whatever. Uh, we don't we want our milkshake back. Yeah. Because, you know, back when Sun was separate from Oracle when they weren't purchased by him, they used to own Java. And Oracle and Sun were competitors, whatever. Um, but Google had a pretty good relationship with Sun and rewrote a bunch of the Java stuff themselves. 
anyway, a long story short is uh, we all know that Android runs on Java. Uh, yes, it is. Like, but it has like its own interpreter. Uh, so you essentially get to code for Java and have it work on Android. Pretty cool. Is the, is the bottom line. Uh, so this whole case has come to a close now, and it looks like it's going to work out in Google's favor. I'm really surprised about this. I thought that Oracle was going to end up getting something, yeah. um, but no, we've kind of been uh, pushed, you know, around by the way that the news came out. Uh, well, it sounded like the, you know, the jury was in Oracle's favor, but yeah. the the thing that the jury was ruling on didn't even have any bearing on the outcome <laughs> uh, because of some rulings from the judge. Uh, but so. Mm. Both the copyright and the patent rounds of the trial uh, were won by Google, which is great. Uh, but unfortunately, what we don't still know out of this, uh, the judge th said that this isn't a precedent-setting kind of case. It's only applicable to the Java API. Um, mm -hmm. We don't know if APIs can be subject to copyright. So I think that for the long run, you know, for the kind of you know, sp freedom of speech issues that people have with, uh, you know, already having software patents. Um, I think that in the long run, it's going to be be better for developers and therefore the, the, the entire ecosystem if APIs are not copyrightable. So hmm. because you can get, you know, somebody taking over something like this uh, uh, and completely hijacking it and shutting everybody else out uh, when the whole point of open sourcing Java was to be that anybody could then, you know, wholesale copy it or pretty near and you know take Java to another kind of uh, direction that you know maybe necessarily Oracle or Sun didn't want it to go which is essentially what Google has done with it um, mm -hmm. but it's kind of weird that the, it's so very specific to this case and that you can just say no we're not going to set any other precedents because this case is so specific I mean it seems to me like that's kind of a big deal um, but the maximum bottom line here the maximum <laughs> payout is going to be three hundred thousand dollars from Google to Oracle uh, because apparently there's some technicalities that they've been caught up with uh, in copyright infringement. So, you know, it, it, this kind of blows my mind. So, uh, Google has a small technicality, and they sell how many millions and millions and millions and millions of Android phones all the time. Uh, but when you steal a song. You have to pay for every uh, instance of possible sharing that that could have gone out for, and it was just one song. And you're an individual person, and you have to pay millions of dollars, but the same copyright law ends up uh, letting Google out, you know, with like a $300,000 fine. This should be per phone. Maximum. So, it's, uh, oh, oh, it's crazy. Snap. I don't yeah. understand the system under which we live, but I don't like it. Yeah. I think that's. Uh, I think a lot of people feel that way. Um, but yeah, so it's interesting. Uh, the whole thing isn't done yet. I'm sure it's going to be appealed. You know what isn't. Mm -hmm. So they're going to go until a judge will tell them no, we won't hear you anymore. Yep. So uh, this next story I'm pretty excited about because we've talked about these people before on the show. They're called Blue Stacks. Yep. And they let you run Android apps on top of your Windows PC. Hmm. Well, they've just struck a deal with Asus uh, to have Blue Stacks pre-installed. And in fact, it's going to become part of the service where Asus is going to give you like a all-you-can-eat apps kind of thing, you know, and you install these apps on your Windows it's PC. Cool. Yeah, so you're installing Android apps on top of a Windows device, which mm -hmm. is the same thing we said a couple episodes ago when I said, hey, you could make this its own tile in Windows <laughs> and uh, Windows 8, and then boom, people wouldn't even know the difference. It would look like a whole other market with, yeah. you know, apps. I think somebody's been watching our show. Yeah, well, I'm sure they couldn't have made a big deal like this that quickly. Yeah, but know. you know, some things uh, just make sense. You know, it's, uh, well, we talked about calculus right before the show. It was invented, in, you know, by two different people in two different locations independently. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> good times. Um, but yeah, this this whole thing with Asus is exciting because it, it's gonna be coming out on new PCs in the third quarter. Uh, but people who already have Asus PCs and have this Asus app vibe, like, uh, you know, I want to make sure to pronounce that correctly, already installed on their computer, uh, can download it on June 6th. Wow. Or, no, June 4th. So that's going to be tomorrow. Oh, my gosh. They can already download the yeah. BlueStack? Yes. 
So yeah, if you're watching this episode, you can already download it if you oh. have a like a newer Asus uh, computer. That's moving fast. Yeah. So pretty cool stuff. Okay, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't get the idea from our show. Yeah. Uh, this this last thing, the last news story. Apple has requested that Motorola not be able to quote Steve Jobs in court because uh, there's a little lawsuit going on back, you know, and forth between them, mm. and it's showing uh, if this quote is true, which you know, whatever. Uh, that it shows that Apple was just completely hell bent against destroying Android with intellectual property mm. lawsuits, instead of actually trying to you know reclaim some sort of redress and allowing the market to continue as long as you get your share you know of what yeah. was owed to you. Uh, so Apple's filed something trying to block it. We don't know how that's uh, mm. going to end up turning out, but it's the quote uh, from Steve Jobs saying how Android is a stolen project. Mm. Uh, from them and uh, Steve Jobs said that he was willing to go quote thermonuclear mm. so. I thought it might have been the uh, the quote from after they released the Motorola rocker what <laughs> saying that they don't want to get into the phone business and they want to oh. partner with them I had a friend who actually bought that thing the Motorola rocker it was a big deal back the then the iTunes phone I mean yeah it, well, and then like a couple things later it was like oh and by the way we've got iPods that are totally awesome yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's funny. And then the iPhone. Thermonuclear. Yes. Cool. What was it like a 16 song limit that you could mm-hmm. sing? That's something that crazy like that. It was like one gig. Yeah. Good times. Uh, so let's get into the app review we've got today. Uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, we got a, a phone call on the iPad show about somebody asking us about, you know, what kind of uh, thing we might recommend to make their iPad more safe for their kids, Yeah, you know, to play certain apps. So I started thinking to myself, well, what kind of thing do we have on the Android platform <coughs> that could do that? And I came up with this uh, app called Play Safe. Uh, it's two different words, and it's free on the Google Play market. Uh, I don't know what to call it anymore. Google Play Store? Whatever. I'll get used to it someday, but not today. Um, but this is the best kid proofing app I've found so far. Let me go ahead and bring it up here on the gadget cam. Uh, the interesting thing is uh, there's going to be uh, a few uh, steps that you have to take whenever you first install this app and you want to get it set up. Um, because kind of like, one, well, one of the first apps we ever reviewed on this show was that one with the, the kid lock, child lock that locks your phone. Uh, it uses like a... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. It uses a home screen trick, where it sets itself as the default home screen. Uh, so if they ever press the home button, it, it's supposed to take you right back into the app. Uh, so essentially, uh, once you go through the stuff at the very beginning, it'll walk you right through it. Believe me, it's pretty easy to get set up. Uh, then you go through and select what apps you want your children to be able to access. Uh, so like, if you want them to have YouTube access or not. Uh, things like the Google TV remote that might be helpful in your living room. Uh, Instagram the kids like to play with. Yeah. You know, all kinds of cool stuff like Angry Birds. The thing with Angry Birds is, though, uh, some of these have ads. So if you pick one of these, uh, you could end up having your kid click through and still going into a browser because uh, the ad was clicked on inside, uh, you know, this this app. So. If you're wanting to be really, really extra careful, uh, make sure you are only selecting apps that don't have ads, you know, or simple enough, you know, or hard enough to, to escape from. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. There's, yeah, having kids is hard. <laughs> so then you just go back and then child lock. You wait a second and then here you are. There's a list of uh, the apps that we said were okay. Uh, to play with and we click on one let's see we'll do Angry Birds Space I said we'll do Angry Birds Space <laughs> doesn't seem to be working no, it's, it's on a, uh, a loading spree whoops Hmm. So, uh, you know, I you know, this is exciting stuff. Yeah. We're going to wait for Angry Birds. My phone is freezing up. 
My phone never freezes up unless I'm on the screwing show. Yeah. Well. Here we go. It's worth the wait. Uh, but then when you hit home or, you know, you try and go back or go someplace else, uh, it'll dump you right back into this locked app, uh, which is great when it comes up eventually. Mm. Ah. This is what I get, Dave. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty humorous. Um, but this this app when it when it comes back up here, I'll show you. Uh, you're, you're probably wondering to yourself, how the heck do I get back out of it? Then I've protected my phone from my kids. Uh, how do I, you know, unprotect it from myself? Up here at the very top, you hold on to the icon uh, for a few seconds, and uh, boom, it asks you, "Are you sure you want to quit?" <clears throat> Just click yes, and it'll uh, switch back your settings so that the next time you hit your home button, you go back to your uh, home screen. So and everything loads back up just the way you left it. Uh, there are a few flaws, though, if I uh, could get into that. You know, um, it's great for the idea of kid proofing, mm -hmm. uh, but again, you have ads. And if you want to yep. be smart, then you probably should root the phone and also put an ad blocker on it. Um, so that kind of helps sandbox your kids a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is when you do the home, the, like the task switching button, like hold down the home button, yeah, uh, it will bring up the task switcher. Uh -oh. And uh, like on Ice Cream Sandwich, sure, a bunch of the ones on the bottom are the app. I don't know if they did that on purpose to kind of fill up the screen. Mm -hmm. But if you slide down and go all the way back up, you can switch over into your text messaging app, phone app, make mm -hmm. calls, mm -hmm. uh, do all kinds of nasty stuff. I think that uh, in the end, the, o the only thing that's going to uh, do this right is if a third-party ROM developer like CyanogenMod oh, yeah. uh, implements some sort of a, a child lock feature totally locked down you know in the phone so that you can control specifically text messaging phone calling what kind of apps are accessible internet all those different things that i think a lot of parents would want control over uh there's not going to be any one app that you can just install on a phone that's going to give you complete control like that out of pure irony they should just call it jailbreak too yes <laughs> jailbreak this <laughs> <laughs> so I, I again i think unless we get something like that uh, we're never really going to have security. And I hope somebody does take that up because I think yeah. that there's a, a big hunger out there. There's a lot of kids adopting technology, mm -hmm. and that means there's uh, twice as many parents out there maybe, or I don't know how that equation works, uh, that are concerned about their kids adopting the same technology. So uh, somebody get on this, please. So but that's PlaySafe. Uh, if you want to check out that app, uh, hopefully they can come up with some other innovations to kind of lock down your phone a little bit more too. Mm -hmm. uh, that is free on the Google Play Store. Uh, check our show notes for a link. I'm doing that right now. Oh, there it is. So I think that's everything that I wanted to go on about today. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. excited that that lawsuit finally got settled with oh Oracle. Gosh. That's a load off. Uh, Android might continue another year. We might be able to see Jelly Bean. <laughs> uh, if you want to see some other musings that we pushed out, you know, or some links, I, I like to share links sometimes too. Twitter.com yeah. slash Android App Show uh, is our Twitter address, or you can just at Android app show uh, yeah. to get us. Uh, we're also on the YouTubes. YouTube. Uh, that's youtube.com slash the Android app show. Mm -hmm. We post full episodes, short episodes, uh, brief armpit videos. No, it's all Android stuff. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we'd also like to thank the folks over at blueberry.com, uh, B L U B R R Y.com. Uh, you'll find a, a bunch of other uh, amateurs like us doing great content. I, I saw, what is it, there was a, a, a book on The Daily Show that was talking about it's something about America being, you know, great because of amateurs. Yeah. And we're full of uh, people walking into their garage and, and building something or whatever, starting right out. Uh, so that's, a, that's this kind of stuff. Independent producers. Yes, yes. Uh, sometimes yeah. it's content and sometimes it's gloves and, you know, whatever. Huh. What? But yeah. We're full of innovators. And that's full what you, of it. That's what you get on Blueberry. Nice. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. And one last thank you to our sponsors, GoToMeeting. Check them out. And thanks for watching the show. We'll be back next week with some more great Android info for you. See you guys later. And girls.
than little androids. <laughs> And we're clear. Are we? Yes. You give the thumbs up. Thumbs up. <coughs> Trains for the fire and shove food in our faces. Pizza. Pizza feasts like none other.